Conspiracy swap. That's good. All right. Uh, overriding depression. People are not able to separate the good from the bad. The way to minimize depression is to help those suffering from it to learn to think and cope differently. An optimistic approach to thinking and resolving problems works. Optimistic people realize that things are temporary. They believe in their ability to change things in their control. Fuck this fucking article. Oh my god, I hate this. Um, they know when they are trying to uh, they are trying to stop trying to change things they have no control over. They do not dwell on things that cannot be changed and are able to plan ahead and find ways to reach goals and affect changes. They're able to take on all information. Good. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck this fucking liberal bullshit. Okay. So mental health is political. This is like extremely clear. Um, like there's a reason why people are depressed. It's because shit is actually getting worse and they don't look forward to anything and they know that their lives are going to be an inis inescapable trap of drudgery, right? If you look at like, um, okay, black people have, are more likely to have, black people are more likely to have hypertension than white people, right? There's nothing in their DNA that makes them predisposed to hypertension. It's because of the environmental factors and you're constantly stressed out. So if you live in a society where like all of the people are sick and depressed, do you think it's just a random occurrence? <laughs> it's just just roll, <laughs> roll the dice? It's like, no, it's that we live in a sick fucking society and all of this conspiracy shit, all of this self-help bullshit is just this palliative measure for you to, uh, to distract you or to, to um, I, I guess, in, in a quite literal sense, to like prevent you from joining a political movement and changing the things. These self-help things are, are, are pushed by the shadowy elites, the Illuminati, to, uh, to depoliticize you, right? This is, uh, this is like, the, the, like the ground floor of like Mark Fisher's work. This is why I always, like, um, I always stand for this guy so much, is because like you individually feeling depressed is not an isolated random occurrence that's the, the product of chemicals misfiring in your fucking brain. Give me a joke. It's because, like, when my parents were my age, they already owned a fucking house. I have to pay half my income to rent to live in, like, what is honestly the size... Of, like, if I was convicted of murder in Sweden, I would have a higher quality of life than living in New York. <laughs> like, there's a... Like, that's not, that's not an exaggeration. Like, we live in this shoebox apartment. Um... Like, there's a reason why people are depressed. It's because shit is really bad. And until we loosen this idea or this grasp on depression being this apolitical thing, we're never going to get to a systemic overarching critique of the society as a whole. That's that's the end of my meme, society as a whole. Ugh, yeah. I just, I hate, I hate this self-help shit. This makes me so mad. <laughs> Ugh. Where did I lost my place now? Um, optimistic people involved in healthy relationships are less likely to be depressed it's like yeah if you spent like 12 hours at work every day like of course your uh, relationship is going to be tough and you're going to be depressed optimistic people look for the good and people in situations they tolerate ambiguity and you fucking idiot self